Before I start this video, you should know that Facebook accounts can really be hacked and it's no joke. If you try hard enough, even you can hack someone's account. By the way, this video is for educational purposes only, so don't try hacking your friend's account and then blame me when you're in jail. First of all, there is no such software that will hack accounts by just clicking hack, like that doesn't exist uh, yet. In fact, in the most common hacking method, you give out your password in yourself. It's called phishing. No, not phishing, it's phishing. Uh, so how does it work? Well, here the hacker creates a fake Facebook page which you can make online for free, no big deal. Then add certain logos to make it look realistic. The page is made to send the login information to the hacker. So when you think it's Facebook as asking you to log in, it's actually the hacker's page. But here the hacker needs to plan the page in the right way so it doesn't seem fake. Like it could be a friend giving you a link to a website saying to check it out and stuff or some other creative way to make this trap work so how do you prevent this well it's simple whenever you log in just make sure the url is www.facebook.com and not facebook or facebook or with o's and other as facebook.com is already taken by mark cannot have a fake website under the same domain name also make sure it's not like this where facebook is perfectly named but it's a subdomain of some other website. Well, sometimes hackers can hack other sites where you have an account and it's not so hard to enter that site's database and get your email and password. So when they have your account info, they can easily access your Facebook account unless you have used different info to make those accounts. If every account you make has the same password and email, then hacking one account is enough for all. So make sure you have unique information in all your accounts. Did any of your friends ever tell you to log in to your account on their computer or mobile? If they wanted to hack you, they probably did it by using key login software. What this tool do is saves all the keys type and creates a detailed report of what was pressed when, what reason, also that the password and information can be understood and extracted. Keylogin can be used to get any information that you type, so if you want to prevent this, don't log in to anything through any untrusted computer or device. Now this is more of a spamming problem than a hacking problem but the user do get indirect control of your account so you don't want that and this is how you get into this mess. Suppose you went to a website and they make you install some browser add-ons and once you do that the add-on will perform a specific tasks according to the hacker. These tasks include liking other Facebook pages, following people, joining groups posting status updates to your wall and more other facebook related things so how do you stop this first of all have antivirus that blocks malicious tools to get installed and don't trust any third party website that tells you to add their extension also check your facebook activity logs frequently if you have any doubt on what you have installed sometimes you will find website and apps asking you to connect to facebook account with your uh, system when you when you do that hackers can do various tasks using your profile so how do you prevent this well if you don't trust don't connect even if you do connect make sure you check the information that you are providing to the system When you have an older version of your browser or operating system, you could allow a hacker to read your response from sites like Facebook. This way, they can perform any action in your account as they can read your response. You should always update your browser and operating system once there is an updated version available. Keeping an older version always have many risk factors involved. Self cross site scripting. This hacking method works when a hacker promises to help you hack someone's account and tricks you by adding malicious JavaScript into your browser console. Then your account is pretty much gone. 
so don't so yeah don't trust your hackers with your account and also don't copy paste codes into your browser that you don't have any idea about these are like hidden programs that will be designed as normal files like pdf mp4 and more other and when you click on them they run in the background and record your facebook password and send them to the hacker this is pretty deadly fucks me so how do you prevent this first of all you have to have antivirus and make sure that it's updated cause if it's not updated then new torsion viruses will get undetected and also before installing downloading or opening any file make sure the source is trustable also this virus can be in pendrives too facebook is not perfect there are many vulnerabilities that cause hackers from around the world to search for. It matters who finds the bug first. Because if a bug hunter from Facebook research team finds a problem first, then Facebook is informed about the problem and it gets taken care of. Else when a black hat hacker finds a, a problem, the hacker might use it for personal benefit of hacking. This isn't a big deal for normal Facebook users as the issue is very rare and even when a ha evil hacker finds a bug there is, uh, is more probability of using it to hack people with important information yeah so those are the ways how hackers could hack your account now that you know hopefully you can be safe also share this video and make facebook safe for everyone thanks for watching and uh, since I'm new with this channel, it would be great if you subscribe and like leave a like or comment or whatever because every subscriber counts, like really counts because I don't have much and I'll be like, okay, bye.